Dear students, unfortunately I cannot be here to welcome you today, but I hope to see you tomorrow. So I will just give you a few practical comments about the course and then my assistants will help you with any questions you have and then after that you will actually see my lecture, first lecture from last year. Uh, you can skip the first part as the introduction is slightly different. But from the scientific part on, it's the same. So I hope you are all here and all you are well prepared for the course. <coughs> okay, so the important information is that the key for all practicals, all lab, all communication, everything else is that you have a Stockholm University account and you log into mondo.stu.se and that you are registered to the course and so you are appear as a student in this course page course page is, is called Introduction to Bioinformatics, Spring 2016. Uh, as I have some personal issues here, that, or family issues, I urge you to check the schedule carefully every day. I might have to reschedule some lectures in the last minute. I'll try to send an email about it, but please check the schedule on the homepage at least once per day. And all the information, all the questions and so on, I prefer if you use Mondo to use that because then all others can see it also. So it's fair to everybody. If you have some personal questions, you can contact me directly, of course. So, in principle, the main content of this course is lectures. And we will try something new this year. We will start each lecture that one or two of you should review the last lecture. So therefore, it's very important that you actually go through the lecture and all the reading material. So any of you are prepared for a short review of the last lecture at the beginning of the next lecture. And then after that, I will follow with my current lecture. Uh, already today, you can see all the lectures on YouTube from last year. And uh, I will, as soon as possible, add the new lectures to YouTube as well for this year. It normally is done the same day as the lecture, but I cannot really guarantee that. Uh, the material to read is also available from Mondo. If you look, click on the schedule page, you can uh, find uh, click on each lecture, you find the reading material. It's divided into two parts as much as possible. It's a mandatory and extra reading. If you read the mandatory, you will certainly know that all that's enough to, sufficient to pass the course. The extra is partly for fun, but also might be needed for high grades. So there might be questions and extra materials on the exams. And as I said, it's important that you start reading it or that it directly after this lecture uh, or after you finish the labs. You should have several hours to do that. It should be enough so you're well prepared for the next lecture where you might have to present the material. The second part of this course is our labs. <coughs> All the assignments are done through Mondo, as I said. There are two types of labs, the programming and bioinformatics labs. They are done in similar ways, but they are different material. Uh, unfortunately, we have to have become, need to become a bit stricter than we used to be on the type of labs and the reassignments. So now you are only allowed two returns on each lab. So you have to do, you can have a return twice. The third time, you will have to retake the lab next time the course is given, which is next year. If you do. If you manage to write a complete report, which is not that difficult, and you submit it within 72 hours of the lab, you will get full credits. And then the later you submit it, or if you have to do real submissions, you will get fewer points, fewer credits on it. And as you will see later, these credits will count to the final grade. It's important to mark out, unfortunately, that plagiarism is completely forbidden. So you are not allowed to copy any material. You cannot copy. Uh, just text from a web page for anything else and we have a pretty good automatic system that actually will catch most of that so don't do that write it in your own words if you write bad English better with your own bad English than anything else there's a good web page if you want to look at it follow it here from uh, Herg School in Kalmar uh, towards the end of the course uh, you will present the scientific papers that we will give you in a couple of weeks. You should read it and present it in front of other students. And you have to do it, it's, it's mandatory, and 
Yeah, also had to be the list to the others. It's one full day that we're gonna do, go through this. I think the presentation will be about 15 minutes, but it depends on how much time we have. Uh, yeah, and also these papers, at least briefly, the questions might be occur on exam. So listen to them, and that's the best thing, just listen to them. Uh, if you have some extreme emergency, you're sick or something like that, of course we can manage it, but you will have to write in, read, a, read a report. But that should be a much, it's most likely much more work than to just present your paper. Exam, finally. So of course to pass the course, you need to pass the exams, pass all labs, and make presentation of this paper, as I said. The grades is 25% of the programming, 25% of the mathematics lab, and 50% of the written exam. And you need to have at least 40% of the exam itself to, uh, and 50% in total to pass the course. And of course, you need to do all the labs with less than two, two or less of a third. Uh, my assistants will help you to pick up a card you get in the computer room. Uh, I think it will be arranged so that you go there and uh, pick it up tomorrow because they will have the list today and they will not be ready before tomorrow. But you can probably, we can show you where it is at least during the break today. Uh, you will get a computer account with your uh, name and, an, uh, and a password during the lab today. If you want to make, do the labs on your own computer, that's most likely possible. But you need to have Python installed, there's few pr programs that are installed, but there's nothing, I think most things should be able to do. Do it, but uh, it should at least work on the all the uh, lab computers. Uh, also, the computer room is, is on the second floor, which is one floor down from where we are now. I think at least yes, it's one floor down. Um, and oh, maybe it's the same floor. So you're on the second floor, yes. And uh, the, but I know how the assistants will show you where it is and how to get into there. But you need the, the, your card just to, to do that. Okay, thanks you all. And hopefully I can see you tomorrow, Tuesday.